I love traveling. One day, I decided to give Florida the finger and I booked a one-way ticket to Europe. For a span of four crazy months with a limited budget and absolutely no plan whatsoever, I traversed over 30 cities in nine countries, each day hoping not to get robbed or murdered. Miraculously, I didn't. Get murdered, at least. This is my travel diary. So my adventure in Amsterdam starts off with a very rainy morning. Time to go back to sleep. I just came to Amsterdam and I've already made a new friend. Yes, here we go. And then the weather forecast is changing its mind. It's shower radar. So now it's going to be half an hour more. Now it's going to be half an hour more. And that's enough of the playing with the pussy. Welcome to Amsterdam, the city of canals and bicycles. So many bicycles in fact that they even have their own traffic lights. Not to mention the longest words I've ever seen in my entire life. If I didn't know better, I would have been inclined to believe that someone got really angry with the keyboard. Or high. Oh, I can read that one. Room available. In all honesty though, I don't think that the way that Amsterdam is stereotypically portrayed truly captures the real beauty of the city. It is a city on water. There's canals everywhere. There's art everywhere. It's truly a beautiful city. I mean, you oftentimes smell weed all over the place too, but that's beyond the point. And for some people, that makes the city even more beautiful. Either way, Amsterdam was definitely one of my favorite cities. The oatmeal is found itself in Amsterdam. When I saw these, the word heart was not what came to mind. And here's the part no one in particular was looking forward to. The red light district tour. Their sins close to the ships. The idea. So extending around the church. Over the over time the innocence kind of been replaced with other things. <laughs> Very popular one that has a good quality <laughs> Here are a few examples of the windows where you'd normally see working ladies in the evenings. It's just a little bit too early to see anyone at the moment. So it's okay to film this. If you make these businesses legal, you put them out in the open, make them safer, tax the hell out of them. It's all business here. <laughs> So this is the neighborhood with the freelance business women providing uh, services from their offices. 150 to rent a window in the neighborhoods. It's a big investment. And you pay health insurance and taxes, all your condoms, lubes, outfits. The women pay a lot to be in the window, but that is the price they pay for calling the shots. Once they're there, absolute security is on their side. We'll talk about that later. Uh, they choose their work banana show. Look what I found at the red light district. So yes, I've just experienced my first peep show and it was only one euro. Why? Because I went with a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I sure did. So apparently if you're a woman, you can go with another woman in the booth. No two men, not two men allowed, but you can pay two euros, split it between you and your girlfriend, and watch a woman. Come in. Hi. 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 <laughs> the families who live and work in the neighborhood, they need somewhere to play. This is a good place. <laughs> They're having recess and waiting at the ladies. Yeah, they're not sheltered, they know what's going on, they turn out okay, and uh, they're being taught that the women in the window sell kisses. That's the next step. So she's. And thus concluded our tour of the red light district. We still had quite a bit of time in the day, and so my new found Trinidadian friend and I decided to take a little boat ride together. We're getting a different view of the same tour. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's Amsterdam. Yeah. Yeah. 
going through the canals here. You see that? So yeah, we had a wonderful tour yeah, guide. We, we just, just came did, from a tour. We just did the red light district <laughs> tour and it's getting dark. <laughs> the clouds are rolling and no, I'm just kidding. The, and Lee was a wonderful tour guide. This is a little one. Again? This is a little one. No, I'm too short. We have to duck. I'm short. <laughs> I just touched it. <laughs> oh, it's a space invader right there. That oh, it must be so nice to, to be able to sit out on the water like that. Look at that. Oh, my. This is apparently the Basilisk of Saint Nicholas, who was the patron saint of prostitutes and sailors. Yeah. And of course, sort of being more buoyant. Uh, completely to the standards <laughs> they in front of us. This is the oldest part of Amsterdam. But they got everything inside. Mm -hmm. and An old gatekeeper's house, which has now been house. turned into a restaurant. Yeah. Pamplemousse! Oh, like, it's Magerbrug. The skinny? Magerbrug. <laughs> 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 so the old gatekeeper, he had the plague too? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Back to the Hotel Le Rob for a moment. You can see the sign of Freddy's over there. That used to be the bar where the owner of Heineken uh, hang out a lot. Ah. Ooh, that boat looks really good. So over here on our left hand side, we've got the smallest terrace plan for that. And there goes the smell of weed again. Okay. I'm gonna get you a camera, you know. That's from the street, you know. <laughs> red light. Here's the red light district at night. A lively place. You just see people of all ages, races. The everything genders. What's your camera? Yeah, I'm not pointing it at the ladies. After that day of adventure, to my amazing luck, I was invited to spend the night in a houseboat. Hello, it's a houseboat. We it's a houseboat indeed. What's up? What up? <laughs> Too tired for the shit. <laughs> uh, it's Amsterdam. Um, Amsterdam. No one will be able to tell. <laughs> 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 <laughs>